Jessie. So I'm gonna take you into my kitchen again today and I'm gonna show you how I make my homemade bar bars. Today it's gonna to be the lemon bar flavor. Um, I already have a coconut cream pie on my blog. It's pretty old, but worth checking out if you like that flavor. Hopefully someday I'll update the pictures. But until then, let's go ahead and get in my kitchen and we'll get started. Okay, so first off I've got my dates. These are my jewel dates. I bought them at Costco, but check Whole Foods, whatever your natural food store of choice is. I think even some grocery stores have them, but you find them in the produce section. Um, I'm going to go ahead, since these are not pitted, I'm going to pull the little tops off of them. I'm going to split them in half and pull the pits out and fill up one cup of those. Okay, now I've got my lemons out and I've just sliced them up and I'm squeezing them until I get about two tablespoons of lemon juice. Okay, so I'm back over at my food processor and so far I have my dates here in the food processor. I just have my regular chopping or pulsing blade in. Um, so I've got the dates in there, all the whole one cup of them. And then I put one tablespoon of warm water just to keep it really soft and make it blend really well together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my top on my food processor and I'm going to pulse the dates until they are kind of like a paste and they all blend together. Okay, so the dates should look something like that. They're almost like a doughy paste. They're all kind of clumped together. So next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my one half cup of cashews and one half cup of raw almonds. Um, the cashews are raw as well and I buy the pieces, they're cheaper. So I'm going to take each of the half cup of those and I'm going to put them in with the dates and I'm going to pulse until the nuts are just broken up into small pieces, just however big you want them to be to bite into. Alright, so a little troubleshooting here. The dates are all kind of in a ball and the nuts are getting chopped but they're still kind of sticking to the outside of the dates and I want them to all blend together. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a rubber spatula and I'm just going to break down that ball of the dates just so that it'll blend a little more evenly. Alright, so it's looking really good. Nuts are all broken up. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my lemon juice that I have right over here and I'm going to get two tablespoons of lemon juice and put that into our mixture and I'm going to do just one little crank or a dash of this sea salt that I have in my grinder. So two tablespoons of lemon juice, a little dash of sea salt and then I'm going to give it one final mix. It should have what looks like kind of a crumbly dough and it should smell just like lemons. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to dump it into a large Ziploc bag and I'm just going to flatten it out in that Ziploc bag, kind of squeeze it into a roll. Okay, so I've got the dough into a Ziploc bag and I squeezed it all to the bottom, kind of squeezed it together into a log shape, just made sure it was all pressed together. So I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it firm up a little bit and then once it's firm I'll put it out on a cutting board, roll it out and then I'll cut them into squares. 